Hey guys, this is Derek with Houston Freethinkers. We are here in New York City at 56 Walker Street with my old friend, Richard Gage. Hey, hey Richard. Derek, it's good to be here with you again. Yep, and we are here up at 56 Walker Street upstairs right now. They are watching Explosive Evidence, Experts Speak Out, the latest film from Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. And as you heard us talk with Richard before, we've been pushing this film. It is the best of their work up to, you know, it's up to date. It's the final edition of the film and we need more people to see it. So how do you feel, you know, how have things been going this year, Richard, with the 11th anniversary, the Off the Radar Film Festival? How do you feel about the events? It's great. Uh, every time I come back to New York, uh, September 11th, the energy is so high because people conglomerate here from all across the country and they bring their best hopes for finally turning our country around and they're out in the streets handing out literature uh, hundreds and hundreds of people and it, it's always um, uh, an event that uh, is electric and that electricity was brought tonight into the Walker stage where we're showing the film and so I just tapped into it because I went uh, in the introduction of this film tonight I was able to go deeper into myself than, uh, and share my personal story about coming uh, around to the truth about 9-11, which happened very quickly for me uh, in, in, in 2006 March when I heard David Ray Griffin on the radio. I was just completely shocked. I, I mean, I couldn't believe it. So I was, I was able to share my, what it was like being a Reagan Republican, you know, coming at this with, with, from the right, if you will, and just having the rug completely pulled out from under me. Uh, now I don't trust anything I read on the, or see in the mainstream media. Uh, so now the film is playing. Uh, there's, uh, the place is, is, is pretty full, and I'm excited about getting up there and hearing what people think about the film, where we have 43 technical experts laying out this evidence in, in extraordinary detail, backed up with videos, photographs, diagrams, uh, everything anybody needs to kind of wake up uh, a, with a little more, a lot more uh, detail, data, and credibility from high-rise architects, structural engineers, metallurgists, physicists, chemists, fire protection engineers, and controlled demolitions experts. So we've put it together over the last two years and people are just getting this distributed everywhere. In fact, on Colorado Public Television, we, uh, we were able to, uh, well, due to the courage of Sherry Bernson, the program director there, uh, the PBS station, they put it on the air with a pledge break uh, during their fundraising summer drive, uh, fun drive, uh, to 80% of Coloradans had the opportunity to see this, and many did. And we've raised $8,000 for that station. Their board is grateful, uh, so they're more willing to deal with the controversial element of this film, which of course points to the explosive demolition of all three World Trade Center towers, which in turn points to some sort of an inside operation uh, who had access to the towers, who had motivation, who following the money, uh, all these questions, of course, that follow from um, the inevitable conclusion that the towers were blown up basically on purpose. They didn't come down by jet plane impacts and fires. Um, this is where we leave people in this film. Uh, but we don't just leave them hanging there. We have eight psychologists who s have personal experience in understanding their own transformation from you know, point A to point Z, getting from uh, uh, a worldview that's fairly intact and stable like mine, uh, and then having the rug pulled out and opening up to the reality that things are not as they seem, that we've been lied to by NIST, uh, by our government, by the media. Uh, what does that mean? I mean, the implications are absolutely extraordinary, and that's why it's taken 10 years now to get just to the point uh, where, you know, we can get it aired on PBS. And now, because of the uh, timing, 9-11, uh, a lot of people are interested in this film. So it is now the single most watched f video at PBS. And this is an extraordinary achievement 
by not us so much as those who share the film with everybody else because it's just so darn different, so controversial. So uh, it's the only video that could be said to have be ahead of us is a one minute trailer for Masterpiece Theater. It's not even a, a, a real video. Ours is the 60 minute version. So really ours is the number one and uh, we're just delighted about that. It's great to see the public finally being willing to uh, look into, into this information and I, and I think that taking the approach of getting on PBS, which Colorado is pretty good at doing that, this is, you know, I know they've done this in the past as well, gotten 9-11 truth films played. It's good to see it, it hitting the mainstream because from what we're finding out on the streets talking to people who live here in New York, as for the most part, the people disbelieve the official story. They either just haven't had access to the information, they haven't had the time, or you know whatever it may be, but when we talk to them and confront them with this information, more than likely they are willing to listen. You know, there's definitely people who aren't ready to go there yet, and who've kind of put 9/11 in an emotional, you know, emotional place where they refuse to open that box and look at it again and consider, like you said, the implications of our <coughs> of our government being involved with this. But more and more, we're finding out the media is kind of existing as a block to really 9/11 hitting the masses because I think most people you know, do have questions regarding 9-11. And now we're here at the conclusion of the 11th anniversary. Uh, today we talked with a lot of organizers. You know, we've been working hard all summer to get this promotion going and get the videos out and the film festival and the symposium. And we're already coming up with ideas for next year because we're not gonna let truth die. I know there's, I know Richard's in this for the long haul. Uh, myself and a lot of other activists and David Ray Griffin and plenty of other good people are gonna be keep pushing for truth. And I guess your thoughts on, on the 12th anniversary in the future. Oh, the 12th anniversary. I think by the time we get to the 12th anniversary, we are going to have a massive awakening in the American people. I'm hoping that there is something to this 2012 awareness opportunity. And I'm looking forward to riding that wave because uh, we have to have hope, you know. Uh, it's been over 10 years and uh, uh, it, 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 we're facing the potential disaster economically in our country that everybody is aware of now, uh, but, well, t to some extent. And it could be a lot worse than people imagine. And, and, and it could be that uh, economic collapse could help wake people up. Uh, I'm looking for the silver lining in any disaster. Um, I'm, I'm looking for... I'm looking for people to realize that, that they've been manipulated, that, that we've, we've been lied to. Uh, and I think 9-11 is the key domino, if you will, that once it falls in terms of the myth uh, uh, that's been perpetrated, uh, then, the, then the other dominoes begin to fall. Uh, lies about the economy, the Federal Reserve, why we're in these wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Our, our rights have been legislated away in the Military Commissions Act, the, the National Defense Authorization Act, the Patriot Act. Th these, uh, any of us can now be arrested uh, without a right to a trial, without a right to a lawyer, without a right uh, to being told what we're charged with, held indefinitely. So uh, merely for being accused of, of being associated with terrorism. So. All of these can be restored by the awareness of the truth about 9-11 uh, when people demand accountability uh, from their government, from the media. That's the beauty of 9-11 truth because that was the Achilles, it is the Achilles heel of this system which has been so abusive. Um, so we're heading right toward it with the spear of truth and um, I'm very confident that we can be a significant part of that with architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth because of the credibility of 1,700 architects and engineers putting their reputations on the line demanding a real investigation. Definitely. Like Richard said, we've got a lot of you know, negativity, things that once you take a look at the world and what's really happening, you ca it can really bring you down. But I agree with you. I, I think that there is a wave of consciousness coming through and that more people are becoming aware, not only of 9-11, but of the wars and the many other issues that we're facing. But as things get worse, more people will be looking for answers and for solutions. And those of us who are already looking for those solutions can help guide others through 9-11 truth. 
and onto other subjects until we can take the world back to a freer place. Thanks for joining me, Richard. Hey, you bet, Derek, anytime.